sure I appreciate your smell. Put me off my meal. Why don't you take a bath, please? I will not put up with much more of your tongue, miss. Did anybody lose a pile of turds? I think I found one. You'll get yours one day, my girl. And you won't get yours. That's the problem. There she is. Good evening. Evening, Arthur. Good evening. Hey. Good evening, Arthur. Wonder if we're gonna make it. This time, wonder if old Dutch hasn't bit off more than he can chew. Hello, Jack. Well, I'll take what I can get. My best friend. You know how we met? Might as well keep the reserves as full as we can. Thank you, Arthur. This can't to do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my Chicago ideas? Chicago back in, when was it, 78 or thereabouts? Ooh. More than 20 years. We ain't dead yet. Not quite. Oh, Dutch was something special back then. I guess he's something special now. I thought I could con the paint off a wall. That'll make he everyone happy, I'm sure of it. good. I'd spun him. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Money and my gun have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> we laughed and said we'd face the future together. You were at the facing something together, I guess. So who knows exactly what? <laughs> you deserve it, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Arthur. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. Hi there. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Arthur. You all right, Molly? Bored. Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. All right. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold 
on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Ugh, rabbits are out. about as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. First, we need some... Bait. Are you okay there, Uncle Arthur? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The bellier the better. Now. Cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. Ah, too slow there. Uncle Arthur! Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. Is it a big one? See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See that cast, Jack? Thank you. 
You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a bite. Look. There we go. Pull him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm going to try reeling him in nice and steady. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, and wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. There! Got him! I see! I see! Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die, savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Come on, girl.
Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a. Good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. <laughs> <laughs>